welcome back guys so today we're going to look at color schemes and a color scheme is an arrangement or combination of colors so we already did color wheels we already looked at tints tones and shades and now we're going to look at how we can arrange these colors to make compositions so the first one we're going to look at is complementary color scheme and that's any hue that's opposite each other on the color wheel in this painting by marissa gabetta oranges and blues it's a really great example of complementary color scheme the next one we're going to look at is analogous so analogous is any three or four colors on the color wheel that are next to each other we have triadic and triadic deals with evenly spaced colors or hues on the color wheel right so i would actually say skip about three in between each one and then you can actually look you can actually draw a triangle so this last color scheme is an example done by michael crease in his painting of the koi fish and water lily I also want to add and we're not really going to do this today but i want to let you know that there's also a color scheme called monochromatic and monochromatic color scheme is basically what we did last week with tints tones and shades of a color all right let's go so we're drawing a nine inch by five inch rectangle i actually made a little error and i created a 10 inch by five inch i don't know why i have three there i'm going to divide it into three parts though All right so we end up with three rectangles and then what we're going to do is draw a nice little design totally up to you but make sure you have similar number of elements in each rectangle so the first one is going to be complementary the second one is going to be analogous and the third one is going to be the triadic I'm using for complementary yellow and violet for analogous I'm using green yellow green yellow and yellow orange and for triadic I'm going to use the primary colors which are red yellow and blue since those are already evenly spaced on the color wheel for me so the first one we're doing is complementary so I'm going to mix my violet, adding a bit of water and uh, just going to fast forward this part. So we're filling in. You want to fill it in in such a way that you don't end up having two of the same colors next to each other. After I've completed all the violet spaces and I've left sufficient space to fill in my yellow, I'm going to start with my yellow. Here goes. Take your time, guys. Nice. So we fill that in fully. Next one is green, yellow, green, yellow, yellow, orange. So we're doing analogous. Very good. So I'm mixing up some orange here. I'm trying to get some yellow orange. So that's more yellow than red. And I'm going to fill in some spaces. So I have a, a bit more, more color that I have to fill in on this little abstract section so i'm gonna fill in the big area in the back with green and then the top area that's also large i'm gonna fill in with yellow green so i'm mixing some yellow into my green so i can get yellow green nice so for the last one we are going to be doing triadic and for the triadic i'm using red yellow and blue so i'm speeding this up
Great. So I'm using my heat gun to dry my wood quicker because I want to go in and decorate. So off camera, I went in, I erased my pencil, I wrote the word color schemes. Remember I talked to you all all the time about presentation and making your work look really, really beautiful so that you are proud of it. I am proud of it. And then I went in to make the work look a lot neater. I took a permanent marker and outlined the entire piece. And you'll notice that all the little areas where you overlapped and made errors, those just disappear. And this is the finished result. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Bye for now.